All right, everyone, I am in Trenton, New Jersey. I'm in a, well, I guess I'm in residential already. I'm just about a block, maybe two, out of downtown. So I'm gonna head into downtown on foot. Um, tell you about the town. See, East State Street is over here. Can you see my finger? Yeah. That seems to be the main street downtown or down through Trenton. So uh, I kind of walked a block or so out of um, downtown to get a look at it. Uh, you know, when I started doing research on the town, Trenton, uh, the news wasn't good. A lot of articles on the news call it the worst capital, the worst capital city in the United States. A lot of crime here. Uh, the cost of living per income, really high. I even uh, saw one article that said, it's worse than Camden now. That's hard for me to believe, but anyway. Why don't I give you some of the numbers and some of the history. We'll talk about some history first. The first settlers in this area were the Quakers. Uh, that was in 1679. A guy named William Trent, he got here in 1719 and uh, the town was called Trent Town after him and uh, later were shortened to Trenton. Now, as you know, the Battle of Trenton was fought here in 1776 in December. That was when George Washington made his surprise attack when he crossed the Delaware. I showed you that spot the video, uh, in the video previous to this one. Uh, in 1784, Trenton was the capital of the United States. For a couple months. Now the city was uh, a major center for manufacturing well into the 1900s. Uh, rubber, rope, creameries, cigars were the items manufactured here. But uh, you know the story. Manufacturing declined and uh, the city declined with it. Today the state government is the, uh, the major employer, which makes no, you know, is no surprise. This is the state capital. Anyway, I'm heading towards East State Street now. I'm going to take a walk down that and I'll give you some uh, statistics. Boarded up buildings, quite a few of them here. Anyway, I'm just going to wander down here, show you some stuff. Now they got a food market here, Colonial Farms Food Market, right here in downtown. A little grocery store. That's pretty cool. I uh, got an old church over here. Uh, that is not in the, or it's empty. It's kind of a shame, isn't it? It was a beauty at one time. Little cemetery there, or graveyard. Anyway, uh, yeah. Boarded up buildings everywhere here. Quite a few. Look at this one. It's absolutely beautiful building that is uh, boarded up and empty. It's a damn shame, isn't it? Something like that. I like this setting empty. Oh, well, they have a family family dollar here. Oh, not open though. Not yet. It's about uh, 9 a.m. by the way. Well, this is. I continue to make my way down East State Street. Uh, here's some more numbers. Uh, population here is right at 90,000 today. 
peak population was 1950, there are a little under 130,000 people. Uh, the city's lost, what, 40,000 people? It's pretty significant. Median age is 38. Gender uh, breakdown is 52% male, 48% female. Uh, let's see, race breakdown, 47% black, 37% uh, Hispanic, 13% white, 1% Asian, last 2% mixed. some more uh, closed up buildings. Some of these look like they may open later. I guess not at 9 a.m. But anyway, uh, median household income is 41700 a year. It's about 800 a week. Poverty is pretty high, 24%. For children 17 and under, it's 25%. Now they got a little, little store here. Quick sub. Little tiny store. Uh, let's see. I guess we better talk about crime. Let me cross this street first. Because that's going to take a minute. As I'm walking down the street, I saw <laughs> this here. Now, let's see. It's called. Uh, the photo session it was put here in 1987 but uh, they've got some statues here they're fully dressed I guess uh, I don't know you think weather would especially the winters they have here would wreck this clothing maybe they change it out on a regular basis that's actual clothes nope that's not clothing Wow that's why I was fooled <laughs> That is not clothing. It looked like it with the naked eye. Amazing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, yeah. I like that. Anyway, let me head back up to State Street here. And as I make my way down uh, State Street here, you can see a lot of trash on the road. That's yeah, just scattered in the street here. Anyway, um, now when I was, uh, research in the town. Like I said, I read several articles about it being the worst capital. I put links to a couple of them down below. Uh, and then, of course, when I come to a town, um, I look at several different things. I go to YouTube videos about towns and read what the locals say. I go to Reddit and read what the locals say. Uh, it's not good. <laughs> You got the locals saying uh, you don't, you do not want to live here. You pretty rarely see that. Usually, locals on Reddit will defend their town. Not here, not this town. Anyway, a lot of it is the crime. Uh, let's see. Last year, crime: 3,300 incidents per 100k. U.S. average is 23. But it's violent crime that is bad. Uh, violent crime last year. Uh, let's see, 1169 per 100,000. Now, <clears throat> Trenton has less than 100,000 people, so it doesn't make the top 100, or you know, cities with 100K, but what if it was on that list? So here's the list of highest, crime, uh, highest violent crime cities, above 100,000 people. Uh, well, it would place what 16th in the country now the murder rate here was 48.2 per 100k last year here's a list of the cities in the US with over 100,000 people Trenton would place eighth it's pretty interesting because as a capital overall the murder rate Trenton would only place third Jackson and or Jackson Mississippi and Baton Rouge Louisiana are both higher and as far as capitals are concerned, overall violent crime rate, it would place fourth. Here's that list again. So interesting, uh, interesting numbers there on crime. I am approaching the K 
Capitol building, or State House as they call it here. Uh, let's see, tell you what's going on. It's a, it's a Monday, about 9 a.m. Uh, let's see, it's about 60 degrees out here. Fahrenheit, that's 16 Celsius. Uh, I'm into the third week of May. I will be grabbing Nicole and we will go tour this later in the video. Well, I'll give you a quick look at it right now. Yeah, it's right here. State House. The State House is the heart of New Jersey's state government. The second oldest state house in continuous use in the United States. First built in 1792 and expanded in every generation. Uh, the State House is a witness to two centuries of American history and a mosaic of architectural styles. Uh, let's see, President-elect Abraham Lincoln on his way to take office addressed the legislature here. Governor Woodrow Wilson began here the political career that would take him to the White House. Well, like I said, we'll go in here in a bit. Here's another little uh, placard. Story of Trenton, settled in 1679. Trenton looks back on more than 300 years of tumultuous history. Scene of the two battles of Trenton in 1776 and 1777, and New Jersey State Capitol since 1790. Trenton embarked on the path that turned the city into a center of industry by the end of the 19th century. Trenton made wire rope, rubber, ceramics, automobiles, automobiles. Sometimes I just try to talk too fast. <laughs> anyway, pianos, cigars, and more. Thousands of immigrants, including Germans, Irish, Hungarians, Poles, Slovaks, Ukrainians, and Italians from Europe and African Americans from the South flocked to the city, creating diverse neighborhoods that still give the city its distinctive flavor. All right. That's pretty cool. Let's see, I wanted to give you guys a quick look at this. This is the William Trent House, built in 1719. This is where the guy who founded the town, this is where he lived. 1719, that is an old house. Uh, anyway, all right. How about if uh, I go check out some residential here near downtown? All right, uh, let's see, a number I haven't given you yet is median home value. Uh, it's 95,400. A bunch of row houses here. I'm a couple blocks out of downtown. Remind you of Camden a little bit, for sure. I always find this architecture really interesting. You do not see this out in Texas. That is for sure. Or even out west anywhere. All right, I'm on Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Heading uh, back towards downtown. Let's just take a look here. mix of homes and uh, one-of-a-kind businesses. So I'm just going to give you a look at everything.
getting close to downtown again. You can see the buildings there. So I'm going to drive through downtown and go to the other side and uh, see what we can find over there. Yeah, I'm, uh, I guess, east and south of downtown a little bit now. Yeah, it looks pretty similar. You can tell it's old, can't you? Old neighborhoods here. Show what this guy's doing here in the middle of the road. He didn't like me filming him, I don't think. Uh, get out of the road, dude, if you don't like it. Yeah, I wonder what this was. Huge building, just sitting here empty. Uh, I guess manufacturing of some sort. Long gone. Yeah, you can see, uh, wow, it's a huge plant, whatever it was. Look at all that. Wow. I think I'm gonna go grab the wife and uh, let's go check out the Capitol building. What do you guys think? Well, let's see, we're in downtown Trenton and I say we, I have the wife with me. We just noticed this here as we walk towards it. It's a drunk. It's a drunk mailbox. It's a drunk mailbox. Yeah. Well, and he's an amputee. Somebody knocked it over. He's an amputee. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Capitol House, State House, is over that direction. So we're going to head there now. All right, we are here. Uh, looks like some renovation is happening. We've got to figure out how to get inside there. Any ideas? Huh? Hmm. You can get a ladder and climb over. Yeah. Don't you have a ladder handy in your back pocket? I don't. There's some kind of ruckus down here, by the way. A bunch of people down here. Yeah. Yeah, a ruckus. I guess we can see what that is. Huh? I wonder what that is. That's a big statue. Do you want to go look at it? Yeah, sure. All right. I'm not sure what this is, and half of it has been rubbed off. See that? Can you read but that? It's, but it's a strong female, and that's what counts. <laughs> strong female? Even though we don't know her name. It is a strong female. Well, the saying is by Franklin D. Roosevelt. Not sure. Not sure what's going on here. Those are some big feet. I Those think this is... Too. Yeah, I think this is a war memorial, though. Yeah, it is. Ladybug. World War II. The European theater. Oh, it looks like it's a World War II. Uh, memorial. That's what it is. There we go. 
Well, there's uh, yeah, I can hear a lot of people over here. I guess we can go see what's going on. Well, this is the State House Annex. I'm not sure this is the building we want. There's a bunch of people there. Hmm. I guess we can go find out. Well, the signs say education, not indoctrination. And uh, the guy's talking about respect parents' rights. So that's what's going on here. Exactly, that's what it says. Anyway, we're still, we're still trying to figure out how to get inside the state house. So we'll do that right now, I guess. Uh, we're on the side of the building. The dome looks pretty cool. I would like to see it from the inside. That would be nice. If we could figure out how to get in there. Apparently we're not smart enough to figure out how to get in. Yeah, there's a big fence around this part. We'll keep circling the place. We came here to see the inside you know of this place, the damn it. It's just behind all the demonstrators? Uh, that's a different building, but we'll try that oh, next. Is it a okay. All right, we are getting the stamp for New this Jersey. One? Yeah, this one. Yeah, that'll work. All right, thank that's you. That's what they look like. Yeah, that's it. In all the other states. All right, so. I don't know what I was looking at. I was looking at something <laughs> yeah, on the side. I'm looking, at, I'm looking at this. That's what I was looking at, too. <laughs> Well, we are inside the annex. We tried to get in the Capitol building, but you cannot get in there unless you have an appointment. And we pretended like we had an appointment. We lied, but they saw past that. So we can't go inside the New Jersey Capitol building. But we did get our stamp. So let's, we're just going to have to be happy with that. Sorry, guys. No inside, no New Jersey Capitol building interior. Uh, they don't allow it here. So. Oh, Jesus. And now we're, God. we're outside of that. On the other side of that demonstration we showed you earlier. There's some heavy doors around here. Yeah. All right, well. All right, guys, that's it. That's, that's all we can give the, you. The people are nice, but the rules are stupid. Yeah. Yeah, no capital visits in New Jersey. Perplexing. But you have to, yeah, you had to make an appointment. You have to make an appointment. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, that's it for this video. We're going. Uh, I'm going to head into Eastern New Jersey next.